Hello! Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're returning. Today we're doing a video that I've been pretty excited about. So I have actually never seen the episode of South Park about Mormonism. And I grew up Mormon my whole life. I've heard just a little bit about it. I'm interested to see how accurate it is because I do know that the people who made South Park also made the Book of Mormon musical. So I'm just going to start. I don't know what to expect. I've never screen recorded before. <laughs> A few moments later. Right, here we go. I want you all to say hi. <laughs> I love how he's blonde. It's really great to meet you all. I'm gonna kick your ass, bitch. What happened? I'm going over to his house for dinner tonight. <laughs> you invited him to dinner. Four kids. Oh, five kids. They're having family home evening. Also, the um, the mom looks spot on. I'm not, I'm not sure when this was made. Probably early 2000s, late 2000s. They're going to tell the story of Joseph Smith. How exciting! Joseph Smith lived in a little American town in the early 1800s. <laughs> Joseph Smith was called a prophet. Dum 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 dum. Hey, Joseph, I told my wife that you spoke with God and Jesus, and she didn't believe it. Well, it's true, I did. Where? I this is Martin Lord's Harris. Place. And suddenly, God and Jesus appeared before me, and they said I should start my own church. So I, I can tell why they're telling the story this way because it's from a Mormon family's point of view. The story of the first vision didn't actually um, exist until well after the church was established. A lot of things Joseph Smith just kind of added in retroactively. It's Moroni. And he looks like Glenn Beck. This is actually pretty in-depth for um, a South Park song. I didn't expect it to be in song form, so that's fun. Ooh, the Rice Krispie squares are done! Rice, rice Krispie <laughs> <laughs> squares. If he thinks he can fill my son's head with wacko religious crap, he's wrong. Yeah, I, if, if a random family invited my child to their house and taught them random religious stuff, I would be really angry. So good. Their house is decorated like a church. That's funny. You just heard your son talking about religious ideals that aren't your own, and you said, Who the heck do these people <laughs> think they are? <laughs> I, the heck is a nice touch. Yes, we're back. Inside the stone box, I found the magical seer stone. Huh. Okay, there's the breastplate there. I've heard of the breastplate. It's interesting that it has a cross on it, but Mormons do not like crosses. They would never put a cross on anything. But the stones themselves are really interesting. I've never seen them look like that before. I'd be interested to see how exactly he uses them later on. I love this so far. I think this is exactly what Mormons picture when they think about Joseph Smith spreading the good word of the Book of Mormon. He's just out on the town square and everyone's like, yeah! It's like those stories on Tumblr where it's like, and then everyone clapped. We're uh, having their family over for dinner tomorrow night. <laughs> There's just a never ending string of dinners. Oh no! <gasps> We're back. Dum, 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 dum. What's this all about, Mr. Smith? Mr. Harrison, can you keep a secret 
Oh, so this is Martin Harris. The other person was not Martin Harris. But both Martin Harris and that other guy had a wife that was just like, I, I am not on board with this. Oh, the hat. They've got the hat in the room, so let's see if they use the hat. They're trying to show the ridiculousness of the Joseph Smith story, but from the perspective of a Mormon. So it's it's not entirely accurate because a little boy wouldn't know this stuff. And growing up, the church was not that uh, open about the rock and the hat thing. Also, fun fact, I think I've been to Martin Harris's grave. Okay, so this is kind of a mix of different translation strategies. Uh, he didn't actually look at the plates ever when he was translating them. They were always like off to the side and then he would put the rock in the hat and put his face in the hat. The plates were never in the hat. The fact that he has the face in the hat is the big thing. The, the, the other details are kind of minor to me. yelling the word dumb over and over because that's how I felt when I first learned about the rock in the hat. Just dumb. Dumb. <laughs> he brought jello. Lucy Harris sounds so cool, and she had to put up with so much shit. If Joseph Smith really is translating off of golden plates, then he'll be able to do it again. Lucy, I don't think, ever showed Martin where she put the pages, and they were never recovered. Wow! So, like, yeah, Joseph Smith was just constantly making up shit to cover his ass. I love how everyone who studies Mormon history comes to the conclusion that Martin Harris was just stupid. That's a super, that's a super good way of putting that. The truth is, I don't care if Joseph Smith made it all up. Because what the church teaches now is loving your family, being nice, and helping people. That would be nice if that's all the church taught, wouldn't it? Oh, it's over. Yeah, uh-huh. I have to record my final thoughts pretty quickly because I have to go. That was fun! I really, really enjoyed the music part. They only covered the Book of Mormon part of it, which there's so much more than that to the Mormon religion. I'd be interested to know anybody else's experience with this episode. If it, you're not Mormon and you saw this and you didn't know any Mormons, I guess that's it. Thanks so much for watching this. I hope it was entertaining at all. If you'd like to subscribe, I make videos um, irregularly. Whenever the spirit tells me to make a video is when I make a video. Whenever I feel inspired by the Holy Ghost. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye!